Today on the show, I'm going to be talking about five anime from spring 2017 that are worth your time. So our first show is Royal Tutor. Accepting the post of Royal Tutor at the court of King Gransrech, Hein Wittgenstein is a little professor with a big job ahead. Each of the kingdom's four princes has a rather distinct personality. Does their diminutive new instructor have what it takes to lay down some learning? It's a comedy of educational proportions. So when I first heard the show's description, I was like, that's gonna be dumb as shit. And then I watched it and I fell in love with it and now I hate myself a little bit. I do think the show is worth all of your time because it's been able to make me feel. And I think that's a big factor in why I like a particular show. How much can it make me feel? And this one, I felt all of the things. There's one character in there that, I don't wanna spoil anything, but he's not what you expect. And I kind of love what he actually is. The way the show was going, I was like, okay, trope, 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 this one's gonna be a trope as well, and then he wasn't, and it made me so happy. Kenka Bancho Otome, Girl Beats Boys. For as long as she's been aware, the heroine, without a single relative, lived under the care of the state. Both of her parents' fates were unknown to her. In front of this heroine, a young boy appeared. The boy's name is Hikaru. It appears that he was the heroine's twin brother separated at birth. He had a proposal for this heroine. Could you go to school in my place? The heroine was shocked by this crazy suggestion. Furthermore, it was an all boys school, the only high school in the prefecture for delinquents. There is an expanded description on the Annie Chart website, but that's where I'm gonna stop this description. You get the idea. Girl is pretending to be boy, goes to school full of delinquents. Okay, so I have a thing for Otome games. And then when I found out this was based off an Otome game, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to watch this. So when I did watch it, first off, I was slightly disappointed that it's a TV show. I do think that it would benefit from each episode being 24 minutes rather than eight minutes, but that's whatever. What I like about it is just that it's pure Otome trash. If you've ever played an Otome game, you know what I'm talking about. And it just makes me happy. And sometimes you just need a show that makes you happy. You just watch it, the new episode's out, and you're like, woo! I don't think it will appeal to everyone, but I do think it's worth checking out if you just like Otome games and you like a little bit of comedy. My Hero Academia Season 2. It's the second season of My Hero Academia. So here's my reasoning for why you should watch this. Right now we have a spot missing in the big three because the big three were Naruto, One Piece and Bleach, but then Bleach left and then Attack on Titan took that spot. So now we've got a spot missing. Boruto looks like it might take the spot of Naruto, but lots of people that like Naruto aren't liking Boruto. So that spot is sort of like, it could go to anyone. I think it should go to My Hero Academia and then we could just get a long haul anime out of My Hero Academia. Because if that spot goes to something like Fairy Tale, I will end the world single-handedly. Speaking of Boruto, I have been watching it. Put simply, it's about Naruto's son, Boruto, and all the kids that are around his age that are the kids of all the characters from Naruto that we loved. And I'm watching it because, so I've wanted to get back into Naruto for years. My friend Guy, he does a lot of Naruto cosplays, like almost every character in the show. So when I saw how passionate he was about the show, I was like, okay, I'll try and get back into it. But then I saw how many episodes I was behind and I was like, I don't have time to catch up with this. So I just didn't. But Boruto came out and I've been watching it and I know loads of Naruto fans aren't enjoying Boruto, but I actually think it's kind of cute. I'm not entirely sure what Boruto's eye thing was because it didn't exactly look like Byakugan and it didn't look like anything else like you can get from the eye things in Naruto. So I don't know what it was, but I'm interested to find out what it is. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, now you've got a reason to watch the show. Fukemenke Noise. The manga tells a romance story with the themes of music x one-sided love. Nino, a girl who loves singing, made a childhood promise with her first crush, Momo and song composing Yuzu, to someday find her voice. The three went their separate ways, but Nino kept her promise and continued to sing. Years later, the three are now high school students and Nino is drawn to the world of band clubs. So I watched this expecting something like K-On. That's not what I got, but I'm really enjoying it. I think only four episodes are out. No, three episodes are out at the moment. So four might be out by the time this video is out. So it's not that far in. It's definitely at the point where you could start watching it and know whether or not you're going to enjoy it or not without having the mindset of, well, if I drop off now, then I'm never gonna see the whole thing. So definitely a brilliant time to start watching it. 
Hey On is one of my favorite music themed shows because it didn't overwhelm you with the number of songs. Uh, same with Love Live season one, not so much season two or Sunshine, but I definitely do love Love Live season one. It's super effective! I'm actually watching a lot of shows this season, but what shows are you watching? Please let me in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, do all of the social links, and I will see you next time.